Well, the White House Correspondents' Dinner is just hours away, and everyone will be maskless, including members of the Biden administration, who Brett Baer called out earlier on, on uh, this week on a special report. Take a listen. You just told me you're going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. The president's going to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. You're not mandated to wear a mask there. But the administration at the same time is fighting a lawsuit to mandate people on planes, trains, and automobiles, or trains and buses to wear masks. So, like, if you're sitting at home, there's a disconnect here. Well, I think uh, most of us understand the difference between a hotel ballroom and an airplane. Actually, studies show that air quality on airplanes are even better than homes and operating rooms. So, you know, look, I'm not sure if, if you guys have ever been to the White House Correspondents' Dinner, but the air gets pretty thick in there. All those opinion <laughs> journalists from all sides of the aisle mixing it up under one roof, right? Sometimes the featured comedian is just a total bomb or says something completely outrageous and offends everyone, and we're not even talking about the after parties. So you might be safer on an airplane. Let's listen to what Bill Maher had to say about this. Joe Biden is going to go, but listen to this, we'll go to the dinner, but we'll not stay because of worries about COVID when they serve the, the meal. This is a, <laughs> America's COVID policy in a nutshell. You can go to a restaurant, but when the food comes, you have to leave. <laughs> All right. So, Jimmy, seriously, this really just seems like more arbitrary rules people have to abide by. Uh, they want people to wear masks on uh, planes and trains still, but, you know, not at the dinner, right? Oh, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And I'm in D.C. for the correspondence dinner. <laughs> and we are going to party like it's 1999, mainly because that's what year Joe Biden thinks it is. But stick with me here. Their political instincts here, getting past the hypocrisy and them being scientifically inaccurate. Every airline CEO testified and wrote a letter to Biden saying, hey, we don't need to do this. But just getting past all of that, their political instincts are so bad because people are done with masks. They know we don't need them, number yeah. one. Number two, the only thing masks have done in the last six months is cause health problems, meaning fist fights on planes. According to the FAA, there have been 704 mask-related fights this year, which means we can make a Brad Pitt spinoff called Flight Club, where people fly coach <laughs> just to get punched in the head. There's no reason for this to be in place. And I have it on pretty good authority that there were some members of this White House walking around last night without masks and some some pretty crowded parties. Oh, yeah? There you oh, go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> you don't say. Well, just, well, well. Aren't you looking very cozy there? I, I mean, honestly, I think everybody is distracted not by the lack of a mask, but by the lack of fashion sense from the guy standing next to Jen Psaki. And I just wanted to beat you guys to the punch before you took a shot at my jacket. But again, this is not one of those instances where we put our masks on the second the photo was over. Nobody was wearing a mask anywhere in D.C. last night. The whole administration was out and about around the town. It's ridiculous. But again, the fact that they continue to fight on this hill shows you how bad their political instincts are. Yo, if you're hanging out in the swamp at a party, there are much worse things to catch than COVID yeah. is where I'm going to leave it. All right. Well, <laughs> well okay. we hope you have a good time. Um, so I want to listen to something that Dr. Fauci said to confuse people even more. Here's something that he recently said about the pandemic. We are certainly right now in this country out of the pandemic phase. I probably should have said the acute component of the pandemic phase. Is the pandemic still here? Absolutely. Okay, so try to make sense of that. Um, Dagan, do you feel, first of all, like you're missing out because you're going to be here in New York and not going to the dinner? And secondly, do you think a lot of people will still be wearing masks at the dinner because, you know, Dr. Fauci is saying, well, we're, we're still not out of it. Well, Fauci's not going. He decided not to go. Right. So he's, he's clearly people are going to get out of there with some sort of disease, whether it's COVID or whatever Jimmy gives them. Um, <laughs> Don't do air kisses with Jimmy. That's all I have to tell you. Um, so to, Fauci's not going to go. I actually, um, I have a lot of friends who are going to the dinner. I've worked for Fox for 20 years and have never been invited to this dinner 
by Fox. So I assume that the person who makes these decisions around here is worried that my country ass is going to pick my <laughs> teeth with my <laughs> earring or, you know, uh, use uh, do some armpit poots to play cashmere, the first few <laughs> bars of cashmere at the dinner table. I, I don't know why I never got invited, but they're worried about me maybe doing that. All right. Well, I, I bet you get an invite for next year. Uh, Gianna, real quick. Right. You know, sure. She does everything she's accused of being. <laughs> yeah, exactly. or, and more, Gianna. And thank more. you. Quickly, Giano, doesn't one set of rules for a party with hundreds of people in an enclosed room versus people on an airplane confuse people like Brett suggested with Pete Buttigieg? I mean, you know, really, these are such confusing messages for the public. And I don't know, you got about 30 seconds. Uh, absolutely. And I'll tell you, I've hosted the red carpet to the White House Correspondents' Dinner for Extra TV. And I've been at the parties, a lot of self absorbed elite people. Jimmy's now part of the crowd, congratulations, uh, that who believe they should really be calling the shots for other people's lives. I don't appreciate that, but I do believe that there should be fairness, like we saw with Gavin Newsom uh, having dinner with his friends, no mask on, but everyone else couldn't be in a restaurant in California. One rules for them, another for us, and it's not appropriate. Yeah, and just to close the thought on the uh, correspondence dinner, they do take time to honor journalists, uh, journalists who have lost their lives uh, and, you know, telling stories, and so we want to just say that as well. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.